Welcome back. We've known for years that the Florida Everglades have been overrun with invasive Burmese pythons. But what if we told you some slithery snakes are not only Burmese pythons, but another crossbreed that are wreaking more havoc on the ecosystem? Only Local 10's Janine Stanwood goes on a late night python hunt to get to the bottom of it all. There's a snake out here. We're going to spot it. We're out with veteran python hunter Dusty Crumb, known as Wild Man. Right here, there's waterways, canals on both sides. The snakes use this as a highway, so interstate. Stalking snakes in the outskirts of the Big Cypress National Preserve. Right there. Right there. Finally, we've got one in our sights. Trey, you're going to go right behind it. The invasive python problem isn't new. It's a shame that they're here. It's not their fault, but we got to take them out of here because, you know, the future of our Everglades depends on it. They're estimated to have eaten 90% of native mammals in the Everglades. But scientists say what is new now is that there could be a new crossbreed of python that's invading the Everglades. In a recent study by the U.S. Geological Survey, researchers examined the tissue of 400 pythons captured in South Florida, and the findings were surprising. So we were quite surprised um, to find that while we were looking at the Burmese python population in Florida, um, we found a small number of these animals um, appeared to be intercrossed with Indian pythons. Dr. Dr. Maggie Hunter, species. one of the authors of the study, says at least 13 snakes appear to be genetic crossbreeds of the Burmese python and the Indian python. Burmese love swampy conditions. Indian like it high and dry. Could this be a super python? I wouldn't go as far as saying a super python. It may give uh, these individuals some greater potential to adapt. What we worry about is that they have now greater genetic variability. This is Dr. Brian Falk at Everglades National Park. He thinks the findings could mean these crossbreeds are hardier, better at surviving in the cold, which usually kills pythons. Not good news for the Everglades. I think that's going to take a significant amount of research investment for us to be able to, to solve the problem, but I am optimistic that, that one day we will be able to solve it. I think we just need technology to advance um, and that one day we might have an Everglades without pythons. He says efforts of python hunters like Dusty are making a dent. As for the one we found, am I bagging them or what? Yep, we're bagging them. Well, let's do it. They let me put it to bed. Well, today I caught a python. Your first python? My first. It's not a monster, but it's a snake, and it's one less snake that's eating our native animals. There you go. In the Everglades. All right. Good job. <laughs> Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.